Hello, my name is Holden Hernandez. I am a grandmaster from Cuba. I am doing a master's in computer science. So, hello guys. Uh, I will show today one game from uh, Chicago Open 2015. I was black and my opponent uh, name is, was Abud Sufyan and I don't know how to pronounce it very well. His rating was 23.48 feet. And I was black, so we start um, with the card account. D5, knight c3, pawn takes, knight takes, bishop f4, knight g3, bishop g6. And then he played uh, bishop c4. Maybe it's not the most uh, common move, but I play e6. And knight uh, g e2. Actually, uh, when I play the game, because in the United States, it's always hard sometimes to realize what is the real open, uh, the real rating of your opponent. I wasn't sure what was the rating of my opponent, so I actually saw that he was maybe a 21 or 20 hundred. Uh, and I saw that knight g2 was maybe, I don't know, an unprecise move. But after the game, I realized that this is actually a very interesting line. Uh, because I wasn't sure what was going on, I played uh, knight f6. And then uh, checking the game, opening, maybe realize that bishop d6 is the, the best way to play. So after knight f4, you can follow with knight f6. And when white tries to play h4 and h5, then you can take on f4 and play h6 and solve the problem for the g6 bishop and maybe castle and keep playing at. At first, uh, I saw that this could, this could be uh, slightly better for white because the pair of bishops and the um, dark square bishop but is maybe uh, doable for, for black. It's not that bad how it seems to be. But because I wasn't sure about the opening, I played knight f6. And he played h4, h6, knight f4, which is the natural move, bishop h7. And I remember at this point, he maybe thought about 10, 15 minutes. So, so that's a, maybe he's confused about the opening. He's trying to uh, create something, who knows. And he played knight g, uh, h5. When after I review the game, it results that this is maybe the best move. I mean, his theory is a normal move. And I was thinking and thinking, I said, oh, maybe he blundered a pawn. If you see, black can take a pawn right now. Yeah. I was thinking, yeah. So I was thinking, uh, because he thought about 10, 15 minutes, I saw that he blundered a pawn. So I didn't know what to do, and I decided to accept it, pawn sacrifice. Uh, I check after the game, and maybe the most uh, common way to play is knight bd7, and then try to trade knights and complete the development. But I decided to take on h5. So if white takes with the queen, of course, the c2 pawn will be hanging. And if knight takes on h5, this is what I saw to King Blondin. So I can take on c2 with my bishop. Queen takes on c2. Uh, Queen a5 check, bishop d2, and I took the knight. So I was super happy, extra pawn uh, after 13 move. But <laughs> 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 at this point, uh, he made another um, natural move, of course. Uh, 
Queen B3, uh, I think, is useful in any setup because he's attacking all my... Were you still happy now? Um, right now, I was still happy, but I was still not so sure about it. And after B6, uh, actually, I remember when he played Queen B3, here I stopped thinking because I started realizing that I don't like my position. Actually... <laughs> And he started playing faster, so maybe he was <laughs> trying to trick me. And actually, during the game, I was afraid of moves like uh, f3 and then long castle. And if you show this position to the supercomputer, you realize that uh, black is almost lost. So it's a lot worse. Because after e f3 and long castle, uh, black has problem everywhere, even with this queen. And you cannot show castle g4, g5, h4, it comes super quick and if you play knight e7 still and try to long castle still your queen cannot help you because the d2 bishop covers h5 so white always plays queen a4 and attack you i mean it doesn't work it's, it's a big problem there hopefully uh during the game uh, he played right now queen uh, g3 yeah i was more afraid of lines like uh, F3, for example, knight e7, long castle. And now, if you move the bishop, maybe g4, and I start the attack. And if you uh, long castle, I can just take a pawn back and continue attacking you. Right now, I don't know, for example, king b7, trying to defend both pawns, it won't work. I guess just bishop check, king c7, and maybe bishop d3 or oh, other way wait uh, maybe g4 first check king c7 and bishop b3 and then white takes all the pawns of course this is just an example the position looks bad just looking at so during the game, he played queen g3, which is not, probably not the best uh, option for, for white. So I took the chance and tried to complete my development on the queen side. Knight d7, uh, queen, c queen c7, and rook d8. What are we going to do if we just castle instead of queen c7? Castle, short castle. Uh, but the problem, if for example, is right here, if you short castle, then, uh, of course, yeah, you, you have some pressure, uh, pressure here. But the thing is then, I don't even know, maybe I, I would try rook d8 on bishop e7 and get this pawn. But the thing is, then you, you cannot attack me with f3 on g4, or, 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 or it won't yeah, be so. can come to f6. So that's Which one? Bishop e7 and bishop f6 if you take on g7. That's right. Yeah, yeah, and try to trade queens. and Of course, white maybe is still better, but white has an extra pawn. It could be. But of course, I think the best plan is always f3 and long castle. And even f3 will help you to play g4 and keep breaking everything there. The way he played is not that bad. He played queen c7, rook d8. And then uh, he took on c6, bishop e7. And of course, that gave me enough time to complete uh, my development. He played bishop e2, queen f5. Rook c1, short castle, and uh, he played g4. I tried uh, queen g6, which I think is um, a natural move. White uh, has to try to push the pawns. Um, After h5, some computers even suggest uh, queen h7, but I saw that it was too ugly for a game, so I came to f6. He 
he played queen e4. And now I was scared because I realized that he just wanted to play bishop d3 and checkmate me and h7. So I had to go uh, rook e8. And now he made a mistake. Right now, white is much better, actually. If you just play bishop d3, um, for example, let's do it. Uh, bishop d3, black can try knight f8 or either or bishop d6 trying to, to escape uh, to the side. But if knight f8, let's say, for example, bishop d3, and now whatever black do uh, comes uh, rook g1 trying to play g5. For example, bishop d6, rook g1, and white is much better. But during the game, he made a mistake. He tried uh, right, right now uh, rook c7 instead of instead of bishop d3 first and bishop d3. And rook c7 uh, result that is a big mistake. After that move, black uh, can equalize in two different ways. Maybe you want to think for a little bit. There are at least two good moves for black right now. Nice C5. Nice C5 was what I played during the game. Yeah. But maybe the most obvious is just e5. Yeah. Actually, uh, I like a lot when, when I show uh, this position to the computer. They make many crazy moves e5, nice e5, and they put equal. So whatever you do is equal. <laughs> I don't know, that feeling like uh, you can even, I don't know, move the rook and it's equal and how it happens. So, no, not this case, but computers <laughs> tend to. But okay, of course, e5 seems to be, you know, the most obvious. You want to play bishop d6 and the whole e5 is open. During the game, uh, I felt happy because I found nice e5, which is a uh, most uh, uncommon idea. Of course, now if you move the queen, I would take on d4 and keep taking your pawns. So I, would have. So I guess why have to take on c5? I2 can be 2. And now it seems that if you move the bishop on d2, I will give you check on a1. So you're going to lose so much here. So maybe the most uh, critical line is what happened is why play queen e3. Yeah. You said if, if bishop d3, then what? He takes the bishop. And but I have rook e7 in there. If bishop d3? Um, rook takes, rook takes, check. Oh, check it, yeah. And I have rook e7. In that case, I, I even have to check rook d4 and maybe bring in uh, the rooks to uh, the d5 to, and take to all the bishops. And, uh, I don't know. Where, what do you say? After oh, bishop d3. But I mean, against bishop <laughs> d3, you have no choice. Sorry. You have to take. Yeah, then does he take the rook on Oh, like a take and check on a1 and yeah. taking the rook. And rook oh. seven. <coughs> Just oh. take on d3 and check on e5, right? Yeah, and play the seven rook. Oh, Casper. Yeah, actually, let's try that in the board. Uh, bishop d3, right? Take d3 and queen e5. Ah, That's the other rook. King of simplicity. Very nice, yeah. <laughs> queen e5, check. You can't trick Casper. Queen e5, yeah. king uh, of simplicity. Yeah, because I realized, of course, check, move. Take and just take here, right? But yeah, <laughs> I can check on e5 and uh, oh wait. Actually, maybe queen a1 check is better because he has to play king e2 and then queen e5. <laughs> well, the king on e2 actually looks good anyway. But well, of course, uh, right now uh, I would take on c7 and have an extra pawn. Yeah. So yeah, the, maybe uh, queen e3 was one of the critical lines. But then I realized that I have uh, bishop g5. So if you play f4, rook d2. And you take on d2, I take on 
F4, but if you take my bishop, I also can uh, check, take on h1, and take the rook on c7 at the end. So that was the line that saved the game for black. So during the game, uh, I guess uh, he decided to castle. Is there any drawish line? I missed. After nice five? Because you say it's equal. No, no, actually, uh, castle it seems to be the best option. It's the, the only move? Yeah. Ah. I mean, if you don't castle, what else can you do? I, I'm taking the bishop with check. And if you cannot defend it or move the bishop. Because, because after away. castle, your position looks better. But, yeah. No, actually, after castle, I have to make an only move with black. But right now, at uh, this point, we had like a 10 minutes. Uh, maybe I had 10 minutes and he had five minutes. So we were in such a hurry. So he castled and... According to computers, uh, the best move for, for black was rook takes you two, and yeah. Who is your opponent? Uh, his rating is uh, 2348. His name is uh, Abu. Oh. And I don't know how to pronounce his name <laughs> very well. Yeah. So he castled, and I took with my queen. Which uh, was maybe a mistake. I guess um, if I were playing with uh, white, or Wait. I guess uh, and, um, after you take on the two, the most normal way to play with white is rook d1, trade the roots, and then try to play c6, and you have this pass pawn. And according to computer, that's better for white, but maybe c equal, but of course, if you, if you manage to pawn the pawn on c6, then it's, in any case, black has to try to survive. The, it's not big things. But during the game, we were in time trouble, so he took on b6. I took on b6, rook d1, queen b4, rook c4. I have one more question, what if bishop b5 trying to take e8 or e7? Well, After queen d2, what am I missing? Bishop b5? Bishop b5. Can I play rook d4 somehow? I mean, I'm not sure. Let's see. Rook d4 and queen like a free or d2 or something. Queen of rook f4. No. Maybe it works, but. No, I can never play queen g5. Queen g5. Yeah, that's what I want to try. Play queen g5 and see if I can. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's nice because you, you cannot defend uh, g4 because you're king. So let's say you play queen g2, queen g5, and you can never, because now I can just move the bishop and the rook because okay. you're king. Is, I mean, uh, I guess it works. Yeah. Also, you have bishop d8 in the worst case. In the worst case, bishop d8. But of course, yeah, g4 will be hanging. So right now, Queen d2. So rook takes d2 was better? Rook takes d2 was better because uh, right now, instead of taking, of course, this line, uh, rook d1, let's say I move my queen, uh, take, take, and c6. Actually, I, I was uh, trying this with a supercomputer and the sex is many plus 30 or plus 40 for white. But, it, it, I mean, in a, it, any case, it's hard to play with this pawn here. I think uh, even if you uh, get a better chance, white will always have, uh, yeah. O unless you manage, I don't know, to block somehow. But yeah, of course, white now is better. Maybe it's actually better to take on d1 and then take, that looks, uh, I don't know. Take on d1, then take 
with the bitch called C5. Oh, with the with play that. And, uh, with the water you take on C5 because there is an FT. But then the F7 point. Oh, yeah, yeah, I play rook F8 and then maybe try to put pressure. No, no, but because when you take on D1, I move my king to G2. Yeah, 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 and your rook on the rook on the one out the f7 pawn will be hanging. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but at this point, yeah, that's what happened. We also didn't have much time, so I took. He played rook d1. I played queen before, and uh, maybe he realized. I, I noticed that uh, maybe his plan was playing bishop d3, and he he wanted to try to create some uh, counterplay. That's why he didn't trade queens. He played queen rook c4. I took on the one. And I play queen b2. Bishop c2. But luckily, I, I have always uh, king f8. Oh, actually, I play bishop c5 first. He played rook a4, I guess trying to uh, check me on a7 after queen a7 and the king escapes. But now black plays and wins. And it was the end of the game. Okay, let's see. Queen <laughs> b5? b5? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, the problem now is that why cannot defend on f2 because the queen is defending the bishop. Oh, already. f5. Uh -huh. uh, f5 bt. So, come on, guys, it's simple for black. You just need to attack f2 and game is over. Queen C1 and Queen D2. Queen C1 check, King G2, Queen G2. I need to calculate some stuff. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's a good. Yeah. And now he resides. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Why? So Why? How does he defend F2? F2 and C2. King of 6. King of 6. Yeah, actually, of course. Uh, at the end, you can always try check, right? King F8. Let's say check. Now your queen is hanging. And Another check. <laughs> With a rook? No, come yeah. on. Both check. Okay. I go to a T. King D8. King D8. No. Oh, King D8. <laughs> rook F7. And I think uh, I actually didn't uh, calculate this, but I am maybe, not sure. Maybe Rook F7, oh, Bishop G6. <laughs> 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 no, but the, the idea is Queen F2 and Queen F1. Check. Yeah, Queen F1 is the mate. And there is yeah. mate. Yeah. Nice. Or Bishop D6. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. Very nice yeah, of course. Queen H3, Queen F1, Queen F1, checkmate. Yeah, this is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and that was the game.